What's going on guys and welcome to the video. So we're doing a full day of eating video showing you what I eat on the road while traveling. So my voice is pretty much shot. I was in a wedding yesterday. I was screaming. So there's like no voice left. Today is Saturday. On Tuesday, I got to New York City and I was in New York for a few interviews. And then from New York City, I drove over to Pennsylvania for this wedding. And this wedding was one of my friends from high school, Derek. So I met up with people I haven't seen in a long, long time, which was great. And today we are traveling back to Austin. But first things first, we're going downstairs to get coffee. <laughs> So here's the plan. When I travel, I utilize backwards planning to make sure that one, I get to where I need to be on time, but two, I get the other things that I want to get done prior to those obligations done as well. So my flight out of Philadelphia is at 3.30, which means it's going to take about an hour and 15 minutes to get to the airport from where I'm at right now. I also want to stop at Whole Foods and pick up some food for the day that I can eat while I'm on the road. And I also want to knock out a five mile run this morning. So first things first, I'm going to drink this. I'm going to go to the bathroom and we're going to go for a five mile run around where I'm at right now, which is Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Little travel running hack. What I do with my hotel key when I'm running and traveling is I, I shove it down in my sock there. That way I don't have to carry it. I don't have to worry about it being in my shorts. Right there in the sock. That's what I do. So the only time I ever really run on a treadmill is while traveling. And that's because of time and location constraints. Last couple days, my last couple runs have all been on a treadmill because I haven't been familiar or comfortable with location. And I was on a very strict timeline, but today, I have some more time to explore Pennsylvania, where I'm from originally. It's beautiful, especially this time of the year. It's, uh, it's a little cold out this morning. It is crisp. It feels good. Look at this. It's beautiful. Love it. Run is complete. Five miles, 37 minutes, 40 seconds at a 7.32 minute per mile pace. Solid way to start the day. Great morning. Hotel is back there, which is where the wedding or the wedding reception was. Let's go eat some breakfast. So meal number one, it is 8.35 a.m. We have one serving of strong food. Now we don't have strong food in individually packed sachets yet. So I just added one serving, which was three scoops to a Ziploc bag. And I brought a bunch of those on this trip. So strong food is our whole food meal replacement powder. So I have my meal replacement here. I'm also going to have for some additional calories because I am trying to put on some size and strength right now. A little carton of blueberries here, a carton of raspberries, a handful of pistachios, and I'm gonna have two capsules or two soft gels of strong omega, one serving of strong reds, one serving of strong greens. I'm gonna mix this up in the same shaker bottle after I slug this back. But that's gonna be my first meal of the day.
chocolate. It's delicious. <laughs> So we've got some change of plans for the day. I realized I can get on an earlier flight that arrives back to Austin about three hours and 15 minutes before I was supposed to. And I haven't seen my wife and my baby in a few days and I miss them and I wanna get home. So I moved my flight up, which meant I had to shower very quickly. I'm on the road now. It has me arriving to Philadelphia International Airport at 10.22 a.m. And I move my flight up from 3.30 p.m. to 12.13. So hopefully I can return this rental car, get checked in on time, and make the flight. That's a new plan. So I just got to the airport, um, checked in, I stopped at a restaurant, I ordered two pieces of salmon, and then I'm gonna eat some of the rice that I packed, it's just like Uncle Ben's ready rice, and I'll show you that when it comes out. But crazy story, as I was going through TSA, I saw someone in TSA carrying a bottle of G1M Sport to get you know, checked off the line. And then I saw the person, his name was Luke, who owned that bottle of G1M Sport. I said, hey man, is this your bottle? And we talked for a little bit. But it's crazy to see a product that you create going through TSA, mind-blowing experience. It's always awesome to see, that was cool. Now before we dive any deeper into this video, I wanna let you know it is sponsored by Helix, who makes premium mattresses customized to fit your specific needs and shipped conveniently right to your door. Now this is one of the beds in our house that has a Helix mattress, and fun fact, Every bed in our house has a Helix mattress. So we take our recovery pretty serious around here because we train a lot, we move a lot, and the foundation of recovery is sleep. And you can't get a solid night of sleep without a really good mattress, which is why we use Helix. And on every bed in our house, we use and have the Helix Midnight Lux. And we found that mattress through the quiz that they offer on their website. Now it is as easy as logging onto your computer and taking the Helix quiz, which was designed to help you identify the best mattress for your specific needs. And it's gonna ask you a series of questions like, do you sleep on your side? Do you sleep on your stomach? Do you sleep on your back? Do you have pain while you're sleeping? Do you sleep by yourself or with someone else? Do you like a medium, soft, or firm mattress? And based off these questions, that the quiz asks you, it's going to recommend the best mattress for you. And like I said, we have the Midnight Lux and we love it. So after you order your mattress, it is going to arrive at your home and if you're in the US, it's going to ship for free in this tiny box. You're gonna pull this small box into your home, cut it open, pull the mattress out and let it expand. And before your eyes, your full mattress went from this small box that's easy to transport to your bed. So if you are ready to upgrade your mattress, go to helixsleep.com slash nickbear to get up to $200 off plus two free pillows. And Helix offers flexible payment programs and financing options, as well as a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year guarantee on the mattress. Thank you Helix for sponsoring this video. Okay, so here is meal number two of the day. We're in, uh, this restaurant here in the airport. So I have one pack of Ben's Ready Rice, this is Basmati, as you can see right there. And then two pieces of salmon that I ordered from the restaurant. So I got proteins, fats, carbs, it's that easy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome aboard flight 264. We'll be flying at an altitude of 924 meters at a ground speed of 885 kilometers per hour. Just landed in Dallas and I have a very quick layover, like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go to my gate, which is gate D, can I have a snack, which I had packed, 
and I am soon going to see Steph and baby Charlie, which I'm so excited for. So my flight boards in 10 minutes. And what I'm gonna have very quickly before boarding that flight, because I don't wanna open up beef jerky on a plane, an Epic Bar. I'm gonna have two Epic Bars. In each Epic Bar, there's 11 grams of protein, 100 calories. So I'm gonna have two of these, and then I'm gonna have one Feel Bar. This is the plant-based Feel Bar. This is the peanut butter crunch, and there is 12 grams of protein in this bar. So between the two bars, I have 34 grams of protein. I'll tell you one thing, the chicken sriracha epic bar always makes me sweat. Like I'm, I'm literally sweating right now. I can't handle much spice. And the peanut butter crunch feel bar is my favorite. So, I'm excited. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Thank you. We are officially back in the beautiful city of Austin, Texas. And Steph texted me. She said, we're having pork chops for dinner, which are some of my favorites. Come on, come on. Hey, you miss me? Did you miss me, Red? Are you ready to go for a run this week? Are you ready to run this week? I bet you are. All right. Hello, I'm back. I'm back. Welcome home. So I miss the dogs very much and uh, I think they missed me equally, especially Remy because I run with Remy. Come here, Rem. They're on the ground. Come here. I run with Remy three times a week in the morning and because I was gone, she didn't get her morning run. So starting tomorrow, she'll be running again and maybe Ryder will join us. Remy is 80 pounds. Ryder, Ryder's about 35 pounds. Good pups, good pups. All right, and then dinner is the pork chop with a apple cinnamon puree on top. We have broccolini and then these smashed potatoes with a little bit of cojita cheese uh, and I believe Parmesan cheese as well. So this is dinner. Yes, I did go back up for seconds. That was an amazing, amazing dinner. It was a great meal to come home to. I'm a big fan of pork chops if pork chops are cooked correctly. If pork chops are overcooked and they're super dry, the only way to combat that situation is to just add more ketchup. But those pork chops, perfect. That's gonna wrap up the video. I'm gonna spend the evening with my wife, my baby, and also Steph's mom and grandmother are in town until Monday. So I'm gonna spend the evening with them. That's wrapping it up. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. She missed you. Did you miss me? Look at her shirt. Her shirt says, Dada's, Dada's Little, little love. love. Did oh, you miss me? yeah. Yeah, I'm home. <laughs> All right, Charlie say, see you in the next video. See you in the next video.